Two Oahu high schools will be taking extra precautions as their football teams hit the field this weekend. KITV4's Roger Mari has more on the skin scare that affected nine football players at Roosevelt High School and Kalaheo High Schools. Roger? That's right. At issue is a skin ailment called impetigo, a very common skin infection, easy to treat and even easier to prevent. Kalaheo and Roosevelt High Schools are hoping a skin infection outbreak has been contained. The schools played each other in football last Friday. Eight Kalaheo Mustangs and one Roosevelt Rough Rider were diagnosed with impetigo. Kalaheo sent a letter to parents letting them know players have been treated with medications and were cleared to practice and play games. The players were told that they would undergo skin checks for wounds while dressed in shorts. Athletic trainers looked at their upper body, arms, legs, and feet. Impetigo more commonly affects younger kids. Some of the signs? They might tell you that uh, they might have seen their child or someone else's child with some red lesions, or especially we see it around the mouth and nose, and sometimes they, they turn kind of honey crust, gold, weepy kind of look. According to several medical websites, including the Mayo Clinic, impetigo is a highly contagious bacterial infection that can cause lesions on the skin. It can spread through contact with other infected people. According to the Department of Health, skin infections among athletes have been reported often by high schools, colleges, and elsewhere. And the pro football teams have been known to have issues with this in the locker room. And a lot of it is, you know, hygiene issues. Impetigo can be treated with antibiotics, and there are simple ways to avoid contracting or spreading the infection. Nowadays, we have those nice, handy uh, antiseptic cloths that you know, can be used to wipe down surfaces. So those are just sort of common sense things that can be done easily to prevent uh, potential for skin infection. There is a junior varsity game scheduled at Roosevelt Field tomorrow. Principal Sean Wong believes there is little chance of anyone contracting impetigo. The um, student athletes. Um, emptied out their locker rooms. We had their shoulder pads and their helmets all individually disinfected. We disinfected the locker rooms. Uh, we even went. We even went as um, far as just disinfecting the field, just as a, an extra precautionary measure. We tried to reach out to Kalaheo High School for comment, but had no response. The letter explained how the lockers and benches were sprayed with disinfectant, as well as the bathrooms and showers. Roger Mari, KITV4 News. Back to you.